As a software engineer, investing in my workspace setup has been one of the best things that I've done. Since I'm spending hours on my desk in meetings or coding, I want to make sure that I'm feeling comfortable and not fatigued in any way. So in this video, I want to share with you guys what I've selected and invested in as a software engineer for my workspace setup and provide you guys the prices for each of the items that I'm showcasing. And also stay tuned for the total cost of my desk setup. Starting off with my keyboard, I use the Apple Magic Keyboard. What I like about it the most is that it has a slim form factor, it's lightweight, and it doesn't take too much space. I personally find it enjoyable to type on. It feels smooth and easy to type on. And also it's not too loud when typing on it compared to a mechanical keyboard. And it also feels just as if I'm typing on my MacBook Pro. So there isn't really an adjustment I need to make. Another cool thing I like about it is that it pairs well with my MacBook Pro, meaning that I don't need any additional cords. I can just connect it through Bluetooth. So one downside that I found with the Apple Magic Keyboard is that it can't connect to multiple devices. So you have to manually disconnect from one device and connect to the other. If you're just using one device, then you won't run into this issue. So as a software engineer, I've tried many keyboards and I keep coming back to the Apple Magic Keyboard because of how thin and compact it is, but also because of how effortless and how nice the typing experience is. So next to my Apple Magic Keyboard, I have the Apple Magic trackpad. So I chose the trackpad instead of a mouse because during college, working off my laptop, I got really used to the, using the trackpad and so I just stuck with that after college. And what I really enjoy about the Apple Magic trackpad are the different gestures you could do, such as zooming in and zooming out with the pinching gesture as well as swiping between pages and applications. For me personally, the trackpad just felt pretty intuitive to use and overall made my workflow a bit easier and enjoyable. And that plays a big role, especially when I'm at my desk for hours on end. Doing some research online, I've tried to find a wrist rest that fits the slim form factor of the Apple Magic keyboard and I think I just found the one. So what I landed on is the Logitech MX Palm Rest. It's made specifically for the Logitech MX keys but since the Apple Magic Keyboard has a similar form factor it pairs pretty well with it despite it extending off the sides a bit. What I really like about this Palm Rest is that it has a soft and smooth surface making it very comfortable for long hours coding or typing but what I find really unique about it is that the bottom of the Palm Rest is pretty heavy and I think it does a pretty good job staying in place. And to pair with the Apple Magic trackpad I just have a generic wrist rest that I found on Amazon. It's made with memory foam and has a grippy anti-slip bottom to help stay in place. I find it pretty comfortable and makes using the trackpad more ergonomic. So for many years I didn't use any palm rests but now I'm glad I have them because it makes just the working experience a lot better. So for my monitor I have the Dell Ultra Sharp 4K monitor. Doing some research and considering my budget I ended up choosing this one. Some of the key things I was looking for in a monitor included 4K resolution, vibrant colors, an anti-glare screen code and a medium sized monitor like a 27 inch. I used to have a widescreen curved monitor but I found that it had too much real estate for me and I find myself turning my head just to look at the other end of the screen. And so for me I found that the 27 inch screen was the sweet spot and worked best for me. And so for my laptop I have the M1 MacBook Pro. I purchased it in 2021 and it features the M1 Pro chip. One of the key features I like about it is also MagSafe because MagSafe was phased out in 2015, but they brought it back in this model. And it's also a very compact laptop because it has a 14 inch screen, which makes it very portable. So after using the M1 MacBook Pro for a few years, I think I want to upgrade to the M4 processor and upgrade the screen to a 16 inch screen because I find that the 14 inch is just slightly not enough real estate for me. And so that's the laptop that I'm looking forward to upgrading in the future. This laptop stand here is the Lamical Adjustable Laptop Stand. It has a sturdy base so it holds up its shape and doesn't shake around. Overall, this laptop stand is pretty solid and I definitely recommend getting one if you're looking to set up your laptop next to your monitor. For my chair, I have a Steelcase Leap V2 chair. It retails for $2,000, but you can find it off the public marketplace for around $400 to $500. I got this one off the Facebook marketplace for around $400 and it's still in pretty good shape. Some of the cool features about this chair is that it has an adjustable armrest. You can adjust the back support and adjust the seat depth. I totally recommend investing in a great office chair because that can make or break your time getting work done if you don't have a comfortable chair. And for my desk that's holding most of the stuff here, I have the Autonomous Smart Desk Core. It's a stand-up desk supporting various height positions up to 48 inches. The top desk itself is 55 inches by 20 inches, which I find is just the right amount of desk space and some more. With this desk being a stand-up desk, there's some cable management you'd have to do at the bottom of the desk, but overall I find this desk really enjoyable to use and I don't see myself upgrading or changing this desk for a long time. 
Lastly, I have my footrest here. I got it off Amazon. It's the Bliss Trends footrest. I wanted to get a footrest because I wanted to get a more ergonomic experience. This footrest has very sturdy memory foam and I find that it's also very comfortable on my feet. So this is currently my desk setup. Everything here that I listed costs $3,822, but excluding my laptop, it would cost $1,822. I definitely recommend investing in your workspace if you're spending long hours at your desk. And if you want to see more of what I do on my desk as a software engineer, I'll put a video up here for you to check out and I'll see you in the next video.